the concept of debenture is one who is holding the debenture that person will get the interest even though you have transferred as per bond washing system you are only supposed to pay tax a warm welcome to one and all this is your other sir here lecturing with your ashram facilitate college the temple of excellence and now we are discussing income tax to session 7 and unit 2 so your unit 2 talks about income from other source but in the same unit we have small small sub topics in the previous session we discussed what is set off and carry forward and also i gave one example or one homework on set off and carry forward and in today's session also i'll go with one homework at the end so please watch complete class so that you can work out or you can answer to that homework easily now so it is a small session because we have a small topic called bond washing system yes today we are discussing the topic called bond washing system what do you mean by bond washing system why do we require this bond washing system each and everything we will discuss in today's session and can we get any problems on bond washing system no you will not get any problems on bond washing system but you will get one five mark theory almost if you see last 10 years question paper out of 10 minimum 6 to 7 question paper you have topic called bond washing system most important for your examination purpose so later we'll go to this definition before that i'll go with small example please concentrate in this example you will understand bond washing system perfectly now just assume that mr x and mr y just assume that there are two persons are there one is x and one is y so it is nothing but x is u x is u y is your closest friend he is not your family member he or she he is not your family member he or she is not your spouse your dad your mom brother no one but he or she is your closest friend now in this your salary both completed your studies and both joined to some work now so your salary is around 8 lakh per annum so what is your salary 8 lakh per annum what is your friend salary so bad luck he did not study well he got 1 lakh salary per annum per year i am not talking about per month i am talking about per year so listen to me carefully whatever example i am giving now that much only your bond washing system no need to learn definitions and all just remember this example now what is your salary per annum per annum is per year what is your salary 8 lakh what is your friend salary it is 1 lakh now again this is your salary this is his salary now you have invested in some shares or debentures you have invested in some shares or debenture from that debenture you got interest of 1 lakh 50000 so there is a interest on debenture or interest on uh, from share you will get dividend from debentures you will get interest so assume that this is the debenture so how much you will get from the debenture 1 lakh 50000 every year you will get interest now so he has not invested anything so it will be zero his income is 1 lakh your income is 9 lakh 50000 so what is your per year income your income is 9 lakh 50 your closest friend income is only 1 lakh now you are supposed to pay huge tax your friend has to pay tax no why because what is the basic limit as you know that up to 2 lakh 50000 no tax up to 
रुपीज टू लैख फिफ्टी थाउजेंड नो टैक्स बिकॉज देर इज अ बेसिक स्लैब अप टू टू लैख फिफ्टी नो टैक्स इन दिस योर सप फ्रॉम नाइन लैख फिफ्टी इफ यू माइनस टू लैख फिफ्टी यू आर सपोज टू पे टैक्स ऑन सेवन लैख फ्रॉम वन लैख ही इज नॉट पे ही इज नॉट नीड टू पे एनी टैक्स यूर क्लियर अप टू दिस यस नाउ इन दिस दिस इंटरेस्ट यू विल गेट दिस इंटरेस्ट यू विल गेट मार्च थर्टीएथ Every year, March thirtieth, you will get one lakh fifty thousand. When do you get? Every year, March thirtieth, you will get this interest. Now, so you want to avoid tax because you are paying huge tax. Now, what happens? March first. So you are very brilliant. You have studied well. So what you will do? You want to avoid tax. What you will do? March first, March first. When do you get interest? March thirty first. That's why thirty days before itself, you will sell this debenture to your friend. Whatever debenture you have, if you wait for another thirty days, you will get one lakh fifty thousand interest. What you will do? You will sell this debenture to your closest friend. What happens? He will buy this. At free of cost because your friend, you will you tell him that you keep this debenture, you give me later. You keep this debenture, you give me later. So happily accepted, he got one lakh fifty thousand in the month of March thirty fifth. So instead of you, instead of you. He got one lakh fifty thousand. Why? Because you have transferred your debenture to your friend. The concept of debenture is one who is holding the debenture. That person will get the interest. Even though if you sell it on March twenty ninth also, at the time of due date, at the time of March thirtieth, who is holding the debenture? That person will get. Interest. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, now you have transferred this debenture to your friend, and that person is holding now. So interest will go to whom? Your friend only. Now tell me, what is the income? His income is only eight lakh. His income is two lakh fifty thousand. He is supposed to pay tax. No. Why? Because up to two lakh fifty nil. He is supposed to pay tax very less. Earlier it was nine lakh fifty. Now he has to pay tax only on eight lakh. Hope you are clear. Yes, the logic is very simple. He is very close to him. He will collect this one lakh fifty thousand and give it back to X. Clear? Instead of me, you collect and give it to me. Clear? Instead of me, you collect and give it to. Me off, not on off. From the back side, behind. Now, after March thirty first, April comes. This is what new financial year. Again, he will take it back. This debentures at the time of due date, give it to him because for him no tax up to two lakh fifty. After March thirty first, again take it back from him. Clear. Give and take it back. Give and take it back. He is very close to you. He will not say anything. Happily, he will accept. Later, whatever interest he will get, he will give it to him. He has not supposed to pay tax. For him also, no tax. Why? Because up to two lakh fifty nil. There is a logic. There is an idea to avoid tax. Clear? See, he saved tax on one lakh fifty. These are the tax avoidance. You cannot transfer to your wife, your dad, your mom. Why? Because clubbing of income. You have to pay tax on that. That's why you called your friend. He is an outsider, so that you can save the tax. Hope you are clear. All this logic you understood. Now, what do you mean by bond washing? Why I am telling all this means government says that. 
we know that to avoid tax you are doing all this government says i know that to avoid tax you are doing all this logic so government made a new rule government made a new rule after due date if you take it back what is the procedure on march 30th he will give it in the april he will take it back any transaction happened like this giving and taking back in this case x only should pay tax on 1 lakh 50 hope you are clear even though it is in the name of y after one month this person will take it back no for this kind of transaction government says that even though for one month he is having you are only supposed to pay tax you are only supposed to pay tax so this is a rule government made so that to avoid these kind of people clear this rule this system we call it as bond washing transaction hope you are clear very good so this is all about bond washing transaction normally people to avoid tax they will transfer to few people they have less amount so that to avoid tax later they will take it back so that to avoid tax i'll give you simple example like you have gone to airport you have gone to airport what is the maximum limit just assume that you are in the normal econom economic class max to max you can carry 30 kilo baggage how much you can carry max to max 30 in the baggage in the flight you can carry 7 kg total you can carry 37 kg how much luggage you can carry max to max you can carry 37 kg in the economy class it differs according to the flight or the where you are going now so maximum 37 kg you can carry but one of your friend he is going for some meeting so how much luggage he is having he is having only 10 kg how much he is having 10 kg now what you will do you will buy 70 kg in this 70 kilo 30 kilo you will transfer to this fellow because he is having less after going to such particular country you will take it back luggage from him so what is the use you have avoided extra baggage charges clear what is the limit 37 but how much you have luggage 70 kilo almost 33 kilo extra this 33 kilo what you will do you will transfer to this fellow so just assume that you are going to uk after reaching uk from him you collect it back 33 kilo baggage so that you avoided 33 kilo extra charges these are called as your tax avoidance to control this the government had some rule that is called bond washing system clear this is just an example but actual case is this one this happens there is a reason bond washing system we have hope you are clear yes good so this much only your bond washing just i'll read out the concept link between this link with this example you will be clear with this concept now remember the government income tax act 1961 bond washing transaction are the transaction in security which leads to shift income see shifting income now one may think that the provision of shifting may lead to provision of clubbing but what about transfer in case of transfer made to friend x and y friend the clubbing provision do not apply normally what happens if you transfer to your wife if you transfer to your son if you transfer to your daughter again you are only supposed to pay tax because you are the earning person that's why you will transfer to outsider your friend then clubbing will not come to avoid tax but for such cases for such cases section 94 of income tax act comes into picture what is bond washing section 94 now 
Section 94 aims at preventing avoidance of tax by the SSC where there is transfer of security before the due date. As I told you, due date is March 30th, by, but I transferred March 1st itself. Now, payment of interest and reacquisition. April, again I'll take it back. Now, such transfer avoids tax or shift the burden of tax to some other person. If you do like this, the tax will be reduced. But as per section 94, this is what? As per section 94, the income of security transfer shall be deemed to be that transferer even though even though x transferred to y as per board washing system x only has to pay because he is taking back he is taking back now for example mr ram holds 12 percent debenture of 1 crore of company a company a provides interest half yearly say 30th june and 31st december Normally, they are given 30th June and 31st December. Now, on 28th June, when the interest is credited, 30th June. 30th June, normally you will get interest. What I will do to avoid interest, 28th, two days before, two days prior, Mr. Ram sell the said debenture of rupee 1 crore to his friend. He, what he will do? He will transfer to somebody else. Mr. Sham and reacquire those debenture on July. 28th only he will sell it off. After collecting interest, again he will purchase so that to avoid tax. Now, now interest of rupees 6 lakh received by Mr. Sham shall not be taxable in the hands of Sham. However, section 94 shall not apply and the said interest shall not be taxable in the hands of Ram. It is nothing but even though you have transferred as per bond washing system, you are only supposed to pay tax. That is the only logic you are supposed to learn. Now, so same thing example it is given, you can read out same whatever example I have given, same thing. Now, so same explanation for this. So all the explanation you are supposed to write in your exam for 5 marks. So this is all about your bond washing system. Hope you understood. Just remember this example. That is more than sufficient for your bond washing. Now, so what is bond washing? So before due date, if you transfer your debenture to somebody or your friend to avoid tax, still later you will take it back to your own still you are only supposed to pay tax. Why? Because we have section 94. What is section 94? Bond washing system. So this we call it as deemed to be acquired, deemed to be having. So this is all about your bond washing system. Now, so please take screenshot. At the end, I'll give you one homework. Yes, this is your bond washing system explanation explanation part 2 with example continuation of your bond washing system example explanation continuation yes the homework is very simple now you are supposed to write in the comment box now so just in two lines just in two lines you have to explain me what is bond washing system? What is the homework? Homework is very simple. Don't take much time. Don't go with the provisions, nothing. Just in two lines, in your own words, you have to explain me what is bond washing system. Don't Google nothing I need in your own words. We'll see uh, whose answer will be the best answer. I'll post it in the uh, chat box itself whose answer is the best one so please answer me what is a bond washing system just in two lines thank you